and welcome to my apartment here in Gyeonggi-do, South Korea. I'm so, so excited to finally show you all because as some of you know, I've been in Korea now for almost eight years and by far this is the biggest and nicest place that I've ever lived in in my entire life. And this is also the least that I've ever had to pay monthly for a place. And yeah, that seems fake, but <laughs> I'll leave some more details about how that's possible in the description of this video. But it's through something called a Junsei loan. I can make a video on it at some point if y'all are interested, but for now, I'm just gonna show the apartment. And yeah, let's go. It's my dog, Minky. Hi, Minky. Say hi. Okay, bye. We have the shoe closet, which is typical for most Korean apartments. They will have a shoe closet right when you walk in. It's really nice to have a place for all of our shoes and things like umbrellas, storage drawers here at the bottom. This closet here on the right when you walk in is basically just a little utility closet, just storage. I'm showing them our house. I'm just gonna show you the rooms from left to right. As you walk in right here, there's this little panel which actually makes it really easy for you when you're leaving the house to either call an elevator, turn off all of the electricity, or turn off all of the lights, or all of the above when you leave. Sorry, Mickey is being so loud right now. Let's turn on the light and check out the bathroom. One of my favorite things about this apartment in this bathroom is a bathtub, yes, you're not hallucinating. I just don't wanna ever take having a bathtub for granted ever again in my life. I have this little shower filter, which is really important to get if you live in Korea because even if you live in a brand new apartment like this one, there are still minerals in the water which make it harsher on your hair and skin. These mirrors right here actually open up for storage. It's really, really great to have this much storage space in the bathroom because in my last apartment, I didn't even have a bathroom counter. One of the coolest things about this apartment, which I had never seen before in any other apartment, push this and this little tray comes out. I can only guess that it would be a spot to hold your phone while you're using the toilet. I really don't know what else it could be for, but please let me know in the comments. The floor really doesn't get too wet when I take a shower or when I take a bath, but it is nice to have this drain down here. I can easily just grab the shower head and the bathroom is small enough for me to just rinse down the floor and clean it like that. Super convenient for cleaning. By the way, this apartment has four bedrooms and two bathrooms. This is the first bedroom. What's really cool about all of the bedrooms is they have these little panels where of course here is how you turn on the light, but you can also control the outlets. You can turn off or turn on. Here you can see how many watts of electricity are being used and I don't have anything plugged in in this room. So it says zero watts. Let's take a look. As you can tell, this is pretty much just a spare room. I use it for taking product photos for my small business. I just love seeing trees out of my window. That's another benefit to being on one of the lower floors. You have trees out of your window. Lots of storage. Two of the rooms have built-in closets and two of them don't. It's just really, really nice to have all this extra space. We don't know what to do with it. Not complaining. Oh, turn the light off. Okay, let's keep going. This bedroom here on the left is actually being used as my office. It's so, so amazing to have a room all to myself which I can use as a workspace. I have just a little vanity that I had from my old apartment. I chose to get this little mini sofa instead of a computer chair because to me it's more comfortable. Also, so my dog can lay next to me while I am working. It is really nice to have this view and it's nice to be able to open the window and get some fresh air. This room is a really nice size as well, but there is no built-in closet. On to the next. What is 
that white thing in the corner. That's actually our old air conditioning unit. Our last apartment didn't have air conditioning. It's not even hooked up, we just put it right there because we might need it for the next place we live in. This is the air conditioning unit for this room. Three out of the four bedrooms have air conditioning and the living room has an air conditioning unit, which is great compared to the zero in our last apartment. We have this little panel here that a lot of older Korean apartments have as well. You will see whoever is ringing your doorbell. It has the camera. It tells you the weather. You can see the quality of the air. So today, not much misemanji. Let me show you this. Here you can check your energy usage and gas, how much water we've used, hot water, and heating. As you can see, none because it's summer. It takes a picture of the people who ring your doorbell. Who is that? <laughs> No, she's freaking cute though. You can also call to the security office. It is really nice to just come by and check the weather really quickly or check the air pollution to see if I can open the windows or not that day. Here we have another storage closet. Even though this apartment is four bedrooms and we don't have any kids, we do need a lot of space just because we both work from home. Yeah, we have a lot of shit. And here is the third bedroom, which is the smallest bedroom. Sorry, there's like shit behind the door, but this is my boyfriend's office. He chose this room to be his office over the bigger rooms. Yeah, and this is the only room in the house that does not have air conditioning. As you can see, not really a big deal. Not much to see here. We just have so much more counter space than any other apartment that I've lived in in Korea. We finally were able to get a microwave and a toaster, things that we didn't have. And y'all, look at this. I have a legitimate oven. I was able to throw away my shitty toaster oven. I still can't even believe it. Our refrigerator that we brought from our last place. And here is one of those little kitchen TVs. I feel literally so fancy. I've never had anything like this in my entire life. I guess you can connect it to the TV. I've never tried or listened to the radio. They also have recipes on here. Salad, let's look at one of the salad recipes. Peas, okay, tofu salad, tofu salad. So cool. I'll have to try one of these recipes one day. Okay, that's enough. I don't even know how to use this. Let's turn this off. Lots and lots of cabinets and counter space, more than we need, honestly. I like this one next to the oven. Seasonings and things we use often like cooking oils. Rice cooker, obviously a must. And having this kitchen window is just really, really incredible. In winter, we had a really, really beautiful view where you can see these trees here were covered in snow and it was just so, so pretty. I mean, I'm from Louisiana, so when I came to Korea, that was the first time I saw real snow. So it's just amazing to be able to have this kind of view. Honestly, it makes me want to never, ever live in Seoul again. And another cool feature about this kitchen, which I hadn't seen in any other apartments, is this pedal thing on the floor. I guess it could just be when you're cooking and when you have your hands full, you can control the water that way. I step here with my foot and turn it on and I could also turn it off. This door right here, you can probably guess, is the laundry area. And here is the washing machine. As you can see, no dryer. Installed this rod right here because the area to dry the clothes is pretty far away So I like to hang everything up on hangers first and then take it all at once to the drying area Which I'll show you later and this door right here It's connected to this thing which is connected to the air conditioning all of the hot air from the air conditioning blows Outside here and in winter you can close this so that the laundry room isn't freezing cold and here is where I keep all of the recycling. In Korea, most apartments have really specific trash sorting areas, so you will separate the plastic, glass, paper, everything separately, the food trash, the regular trash, everything separately. We have one more room to see, which is the last bedroom, the master bedroom. 
Nothing too special. Here's Mickey's bed and our bed, which is a queen size bed for reference. We actually have this little projector right here on the top of the bed I showed in my last apartment tour, just so we can watch Netflix on this wall with the projector. Our old apartments didn't have built-in closets, so we had to buy this, but we still use for t-shirts and stuff. What's really nice about this apartment is it has so much more built-in storage than I've ever had before. Here is a kind of little vanity area with a really bright light. Okay, are you ready for this? The thing that I'm most excited to show y'all is right here. Look at the size of this closet, y'all. I've never, ever had a walk-in closet. Even in the US, I'd never had a walk-in closet. This closet is very close to the size of one of my old apartments. It is just so, so huge, and it even has a window in it with a nice view. I mean, talk about leveling up. Those built-in shelves just help keep things a little bit more organized, but y'all, Korea is very, very humid, and it hasn't even been hot for that long but yesterday I found some black clothing with mold on it and I actually just purchased a dehumidifier because it is basically a necessity, y'all. I feel so blessed when I walk in and remember my past self in my shoebox apartment that was basically the size of my closet. Here is obviously the other bathroom. This other bathroom does not have a bathtub but it has an enclosed shower. Just like the other bathroom, it has lots and lots of storage behind these mirrors, which is really, 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 really convenient. Shower shoes. Yeah, you can see the floor is super wet. Not because it came from the shower, but because I hosed it down with this. Okay, obviously it has this little phone holder or whatever, like the other toilet, but since this is the master bedroom, it does have this little panel where if someone rings the doorbell and you're using the bathroom, you can open the door or you can make a call, I guess. Press this alarm button if someone's breaking in or something. This is the remote for the toilet. It actually flushes automatically when you use it and it has this little remote because it has the bidet function and you can control how much water goes down whenever you flush and probably heated toilet seat or I guess you can control the temperature of the water in the bidet. Oh, I forgot to show you. Here, it's not just a window. This is a veranda where you actually hang your laundry to dry. Here we have this sliding door. As you can see, it's quite high, but push this to come down, and then this comes down to where I can reach it. Here, I can press stop and make it stop. You would hang your laundry and then push this button to bring everything back up. And then to help your laundry dry faster, you would press this fan button. Honestly though, it really doesn't help the laundry dry that much. Have a little door right here, which is another storage closet. Just a storage closet. Now let's go back into the living room. That concludes the apartment tour, but please let me know in the comments if you want to know more about the Junsei loan or more about apartments in Korea in general. I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched this video. Please give it a like. Comment, subscribe if you want, and I hope I will see y'all again very soon.